Hi there. Now, before I give you the work solution to this, just to remind you for part four here that in part two, the value we took was x equals one tenth. So if you want to have a go at this, haven't done so already, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, as usual, I'll run slowly through the work solution. OK. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. So when we're using the binomial expansion here for 1 minus 1 over x to the power minus 3, because we've got this negative power, then the binomial expansion is only valid if this term here lies between minus 1 and 1. Let's just put that down so that in part 3, it's only valid if the term minus 1 over x lies between minus 1 and 1. If you're unsure about the validity for binomial expansions, do check out my earlier videos on that. But on that basis, if, I'll just put here, but if x equals 1 tenth, then can you see that if we take the value of minus 1 over x, what this is going to be is minus 1 divided by 1 tenth. In other words, minus 10. And that's clearly outside this range. So therefore, it's not going to be a suitable value for working out an estimate for 100 over 729. Okay?